Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss one of the gate questions which came in the year 2003 related to effective memory access time. These kind of questions will help you to understand the concept in a better way. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First let me read out the question, then I will discuss the solution with you. Look at the question carefully. A processor uses two level page tables for virtual to physical address translation. Virtual and physical address are both 32 bit wide. The memory is byte addressable. Virtual address is 32 bit which is segregated into 10 bits, 10 bits and 12 bits. Page table entry size is 4 bytes. TLB hit rate is 96%. Cache memory hit rate is 90%. Main memory access time is 10 nanoseconds. Cache memory access time is 1 nanoseconds. TLB access time is 1 nanoseconds. Assuming that no page faults occurs, the average time taken to access a virtual address is approximately. They have given in the braces to the nearest 0.5 nanoseconds. They have given four options. We need to solve the question and find out what is the right answer. Now look at the each point in the question. A processor uses the two level page tables for virtual to physical address translation. So the CPU is there, okay, and you have the main memory, okay, and as it is a two level page tables, you have the outer page table, let me keep it as OT, and you have the inner page table, okay, and then CPU will generate the logical address. So it will go to the outer page table, then it will go to the inner page table and then it will access the particular page. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? Now what they have given the memory is byte addressable and virtual address is 32 bit. So if virtual address is 32 bit and then they have segregated into three parts, one is 10 bits, another one is 10 bits and another one is 12 bits. What is the meaning of this one? The page offset is 12 bits. If page offset is 12 bits, the page size is 2 power 12 bytes because they have said memory is byte addressable. And this one is meaning is what? This is outer page table regarding that one. If you have 10 bits in the outer page table, then meaning is that you have 2 to the power 10 pages. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? We have solved enough questions related to the multi-level paging. There I have discussed about this splitting in detail. Okay. And page table entry sizes. Now if you look at what is the meaning of the inner page table, the number of entries in the inner page table is equal to number of pages in the process. And each entry size they have given as 4 bytes. So page table size is equal to number of pages into page table entry size. Is it clear? As this total size is greater than one page size or one frame size, we have gone for the two level paging. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? And they have given the TLB hit rate is 96%. Cache hit rate is 90% and they have given the main memory access time, cache memory access time and TLB access time also. And importantly they said assume that there are no page faults. What is the meaning? If CPU is searching for a particular page number, that page number is available in the main memory. Then we will call it as a page hit. If it is not available in the main memory, we will call it as a page fault. If they are saying no page fault, so whatever the CPU is searching for a particular page is available in the main memory. Is it clear? Now they are asking us to compute the effective access time to access a virtual address. Is it clear? That is what we have to find. Now if you look at, we have already discussed about the TLB. What the TLB will consist of? TLB will consist of few entries of the page table. Is it clear? Let me refer that one. We have the CPU. Is it clear? And we have the page table and we have the main memory. Is it clear? Now CPU will generate the logical address. 
Now, searching for a entry in the page table will require two memory access because page table also will be stored in one of the frame of main memory. So, first we need to look at whether the particular page is available in the main memory or not. How we will get? First, we have to go to the main memory and access the page table. Once you access the page table, you need to look at whether the particular page is available in the main memory or not. If it is available, in which frame it is available, we need to look at. So, if we go with the page table and main memory, we need to memory access. So, to overcome that one, we have a solution called TLB, which is a hardware support. Okay. So, first we will search the particular page entry is available in the TLB or not. If it is available, we will say that it is a TLB hit. Suppose let's take that I am searching for a page number 2. Let's consider that page number 2 is available in the frame number 3. So the logical address will be converted to physical address saying that it is available in the frame number 3. What is the logical address will consist of? It will consist of page number and page offset. What is the physical address will consist of? Physical address will consist of frame number and then frame offset. So you have searching for the page number 2. The page number 2 is available in the frame number 3 and page offset depends on the size of the page. So the size of the page is equal to frame size. So the frame offset also will be same. So you will access the frame number 3 of the main memory. So this is the way we will go for if there is a TLB hit. If there is a TLB miss meaning is that you are searching for the page number 3. Let's consider that page number 3 entry is not there. Then first what we will do, first we will check it in the TLB, whether it is available or not. So if it is not available, we will say that it is a TLB miss. Okay. So we will take the TLB access time to find whether it is hit or miss. After searching it, we have found that it is miss. Once it is a miss, we will search that particular entry in the page table. That entry will be available in the page table if that page is available in the main memory. Otherwise, there will be a present or absent bit. If the present or absent bit is zero, meaning is that the particular page is not available in the main memory. Let's consider that page number three information is available in the frame number five. So the information is available. So you will go to the frame number five and access the information. So to do that one, once you have to access the TLB and then again you have to access the page table but the page table is will be available in the main memory. So page table access time which is nothing but the main memory access time and again you have to access the information. So you have to access the main memory if it is a TLB hit miss. If it is TLB hit you need to access the TLB and you need to access the main memory once. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? If it is a single level paging, you have to access the page table once. If it is a multi level paging, here it is a two level paging. So, two into page table access plus the main memory, which is nothing but t plus three into main memory access because page table also will be available in the main memory. So, this is about the TLB hit and the access time required to find whether the particular page is available in the main memory or not, if it is available in which frame it is available. Now we will discuss about the cache memory. I have discussed enough about the cache memory in the computer organization playlist. However, I will refer it once here. Is it clear? Let me give an overview for you. Now we have the cache memory and we have the main memory and then we have the secondary memory. Is it clear? Now, CPU will generate the logical address. The logical address will be converted into physical address and it will be searching first in the cache memory, whether the particular information is available in the cache memory or not. And remember one thing, the size of the cache memory is less than size of the main memory, then size of the secondary memory. So the size of the secondary memory is greater as compared to the main memory and size of the cache memory is lesser than the main memory. So obviously the access time also will be reverse. The access time of the cache memory is less as compared to the main memory as compared to the secondary memory. Is it clear? So now 
the cache memory is divided into lines okay and you know that main memory is divided into frames and secondary memory is divided into pages is it clear are you able to understand and remember one thing the size of a line is equal to size of a frame is equal to size of a page is it clear so first you are searching for a particular information if the information is available in the cache memory we will call it as a cache hit if it is available in the cache memory we will directly access that information if it is not available in the cache memory we will call it as cache miss if it is not available we will call it as a cache miss if it is not available then cpu will try to access that information from the main memory if it is available in the main memory we will call it as a page hit let's consider that the particular page is available in the main memory then it will transfer that information to the cache memory and then cpu will access it for the locality of reference because maybe the particular information may be required in the next time also that's why we will load the in the cache memory also if it is not available in the main memory then we will call it as a page hit or a page fault is it clear now if it is a page fault then operating system will load the particular page from the secondary memory to the main memory then it will be loaded into the cache memory then cpu will access so this is about the cache memory now let me solve this question what they are telling the tlb hit rate is 96 percent so we need to access particular information if we want to access a particular information the cpu will generate the logical address now we need to convert the logical address to the physical address then we need to access the information access information from memory if it is available in the cache memory we will access it if it is not available in the cache memory we will access it from the mem main memory is it clear because they said there is no page fault so whatever the information we are searching it will be there in the main memory is it clear so now first we will find out how much time it will be required to convert the logical address to the physical address so once the cpu generates the logical address first we will search it in the what tlb so you will access the tlb so let me keep it as tlb access time is it clear then if it is not available what is the chance that information will not be available in the tlb which is 4 percentage so 4 by 100 time because hit rate is 96 percent obviously the miss rate will be 4 percent so 4 by 100 time you need to access that information from the page table so how many times you have to access two level page tables so 2 into page table access is it clear so this much time will be taken to convert the logical address to physical address is it clear are you able to understand now once we convert the logical address to the physical address first we will search in the cache memory now cache memory how much time access we will look at it cache memory access time let me keep it as c access is it clear are you able to understand it or not okay if it is not available what is the percentage of the cache miss 10 percent so 10 by 100 if it is not available in the cache memory then we will look it into the main memory so the main memory access time let me keep it as mm access time is it clear so this is the formula to compute the effective time taken to access a virtual addresses now let me substitute the values tlb access time they have given it as one nanosecond is it clear can you refer it here so tlb access time is one nanosecond so one plus four by hundred into two into page table access page table access is nothing but the main memory access only the main memory access time is 10 nanoseconds okay then cache memory access time so the cache memory access time is 1 nanoseconds plus 10 by 100 into main memory access time 
main memory access time is 10 nanoseconds let me substitute the values is it clear this 10 and this one will be cancelled this will be 1 plus 8 by 10 which will be 0 0.8 are you able to understand and then you have 1 plus this one and this one will be cancelled this one will be this one will be cancelled so you have 1 so which is nothing but 3.8 nanoseconds we are taking on an average to access a virtual address is it clear so they said the nearest one nearest one is 4 nanoseconds because 3 is not near to the 3.8 as compared to the 4 nanoseconds so the right answer for this question is option d i hope you have understood how i solve this question if you still have any doubts related to this question feel free to ask me in the comment session i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.